Naam, kwa hiyo haya usitie shaka. Maana kama ni kwa shibe ya habari za maendeleo, vihiga wiki hii iko imo na ipo. Tangu kuanzishwa kwa ugatuzi, wakazi wa Vihiga wameshuhudia maendeleo makubwa na babu kubwa hasa baada ya daktari Wilbert Chilo kuchaguliwa kuwa gavana mwaka wa 2017 na tena 2022. My heartfelt appreciation goes to the governor for his tireless efforts for us to acquire quality education. Bwana lazembo Chilo atoe pesa. Pesa yangu natoa kwa elimu. Kwa mara ya kwanza kabisa tunakuletea makala speciali ya vihiga wiki hii. Makala yatakayokuwa kikupa kulia inayojiri katika idara mbalimbali. Mbali. Tutatoka ofisini na kuenda kwenye ground ili kumulika maendeleo mbalimbali mbali mashinani. Ndili wakia wajukuu ya. Kama bana letea mimi magi, yeah. naanda kugombali. <laughs> na sasa nasema ni hasani. Isitoshi, jiandaye kupokea mahojiano kabambe na maafisa kadha wa kadha wa serikali ya kaunti ya vihiga huku wakiajibu maswali yako. Ungana nasi kila siku ya ijumaa saa kumi jioni kwenye mitandao yetu ya kijamii ukitumia anwani County Government of Vihiga. Na pia tutakuwa mubashara yaani live dani ya mia moja na tano nukta sifuri Vihiga FM. Naam, kwa yote haya usitie shaka. Maana kama ni kwa shibe ya habari za maendeleo, vihiga wiki hii iko imo na ipo. Tangu Ujenzi wa kiwanda na eneo la kuzia bidhaa pamoja na kuboresha kule Luanda. Tunakuwa na taarifa hiyo na tutakuwa tukikupakulia katika makala yetu ya leo hii ya Vihiga wiki hii. Jina langu ni Victor Wetende. Hebu tuanze na taarifa kwamba e, juma hili limekuwa ni juma la wale wanaoishi na uwe, uwezo ama ule mavu wa kutoe kusikia. Na hebu tupate taarifa hiyo iliyoandaliwa na mwana habari wetu James Anzigare. Serikali ya kaunti ya Viga inajivunia kuungana na jamii ya viziwi katika kuadhimisha wiki ya kimataifa ya uhamasishaji wa viziwi wa mwaka 2023 yenye mada Kenya ambapo viziwi wanaweza kutia sahihi kila kaunti popote. Akizungumza wakati wa hafla hiyo iliyofanyika katika viwanja vya ofisi ya shirika la watoto wenye ulemavu Elongo kata hizo avali adui wa kaunti ndogo ya Sabacha tarehe 23 Septemba mwaka huu waziri anayesimamia vijana, michezo jinsia, utamaduni na huduma za kijamii Meshak Mulongo aliwahakikishia jamii ya watu wenye ulemavu ya kuwa utawala wa gavana Otichilo unawito wa kuhakikisha ustawi wao kwanza pokea okay, ujumbe wa gavana wetu mheshimiwa Wilba Otichilo ambaye ndiye gavana wa jimbo la Vihiga na ana ari kubwa sana kuhusu watu wetu ambao wako na disabilities 
aliongeza kuwa jukumu la utawala wa sasa pia ni kushughulikia masuala yanayowahusu na kuboresha maisha yao. Mlongo pia aliongeza kuwa idara yake itashirikiana na Judith Olimba na kusaidia kikamilifu shirika lake la Children with Disability Support Organization linaletoa mazingira ya kujifunza kwa watoto wanaoishi na ulemavu. Katika utaratibu wa ajira tuko na nafasi ama ile uh, office inaitwa disability office any time when you see an advert an advertisement from the department of gender culture youth sports and social services you will see an advertisement on disability officer because it is in our establishment hiyo ni ofisi ambayo itawekwa katika muda mfupi pia nilivoeleza eh, in the department so that we focus on ensuring that the issues that relate to disability are addressed timely mmeelezwa kuhusu eh, some of the utilities here and we are going to support this organization fully we as the government of uh, the county government of Vihiga we believe in this initiative we will support you Judith and your team we will support you and it is on that basis that I also want to decree that because my two chief officers are here and the uh, helm of the office uh, of our department is here we are going to support you to ensure that the tank you intend to put there so that the community can also have a benefit or on the water that you have occasioned here uh, is is uh, actually achieved so that one we can assure you let's just get together uh, i am sure uh, we will do something that can support that initiative hata hivyo serikali ya kaunti ya Vihiga imepewa changamoto ya kujenga na kuandaa kituo cha mafunzo ya ufundi stadi ambacho kitatoa ujuzi kwa watu wenye ulemavu katika kaunti ya Vihiga ili kuwezesha kutafuta fursa za kujikimu kimaisha. Katiba yetu inatambua sign language uh, kama lugha tayari. Kwa hivyo inavyotambulika katika katiba inamaanisha kwamba hata hizi shule zina, zinafaa zipewe uh, section ama sector ambapo lugha ya ishara itakuwa inafunzwa. Na isianzie kwa lugha katika shule ya ufili katika lugha za uh, shule za za kimsingi pendekezo langu kwa ajili ya watu walio wanaoishi na ulemavu ni kwamba vile waziri ametueleza hii bill act itekelezwe haraka iwezekanavyo dipozo mataka walemavu iweze kuwa rahisi kwa alafu tena hii jambo la watu ambao wako na ulemavu wa kutusikia pia tulikuwa tumeikiweka kwa mpango tupitishe msuadwa kwa bunge ili iweze kutekelezwa pia kwa mashule na tutaanza na shule za msingi James Anzigare Viga wiki hii Serikali ya kaunti Na mtazamaji tukiacha maswala ya wale ambao hawana uwezo wa kusikia tuende katika maswala ya elimu ambapo walimu wa chekechea ambao walikuwa wameajiriwa kwa kandarasi sasa wamepewa barua za ajira ya kudumu. Gavana wa Vihiga Daktari Ulibo Tichilo akiongoza hafla ya walimu wa kupewa barua hizo alisema kwamba atatilia mkazo zaidi sekta ya elimu saa chekechea na ile ya masomo ya kiufundi. Tupate mengi. Vana wa kaunti ya Vihiga daktari Wilba Otichlo amewarai walimu wa chekechea kutia bidii katika kazi zao huku akisema serikali yake imeipa kipaumbele masomo ya chekechea. Tunataka kuweka mkaso mkubwa sana kwa elimu ya ECD. Because hiyo ndio foundation. Bila hiyo hakuna chochote tafanyika. Hata watoto wakipata foundation mbaya kutoka kwa ECD baadaye hawatafaulu so as a government we are very much committed to see to it that the ECD education is given 
total and maximum support akiwa utubia wale hao katika uwanja wa manispa wa mbale gavana utichlo amesema kuwa serikali ya kaunti ya viga imeanza mikakati ya kujenga vituo maalum vya masomo almarufu centers of excellence katika kaunti ndogo tano za viga ECD tumesema tutajenga kwa kila sub county a model ECD a school ama a model ECD center ile ambayo itakuwa ikitumika as a model center kwa ECD zingine zote kwa hiyo sub county we are still committed and i'm sure god willing next year we shall be embarking on putting up ECD model centers yani oni center ambao tutaweka kila bifaa ambao inatakikana ili hiyo uh, ECD kwa hiyo uh, sub county watakuwa natumia hiyo as a model wakitaka kuona vile inatakikana ifanyike kwa jambo lolote watakuwa nakuja hapo Waziri wa elimu wa Viga Daktari Ruth Agesa amesema kwa idara hiyo inaboresha zaidi madarasa ya wanafunzi wa chekechea na iko mbioni kuanzisha mradi wa lishe bora kwa wadogo hao Almarufu School Feeding Program Tumeimiza mambo ya nidhamu na mambo ya to make sure that we cover our syllabuses and take care of the children. Mimi naitwa Noel Faith Osengo from Mhaya Sub County. Nimefurahi sana siku ya leo tarehe 29 mwezi wa 9 2023 kwa sababu ni miaka tumengojea hii permanent and pensionable barua lakini nashukuru sana mheshimiwa governor Otichilo kwa sababu leo ametupea hiyo barua. Sasa mimi kama mwalimu wa ECD, mwalimu wa Vihiga niko na furaha sana 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 na naomba mheshimiwa Wilbur Otichilo Mungu amuongezee siku, Mungu amuongezee maarifa aishi miaka mingi mingi kwa sababu anazidi na anaendelea kutenda mengi. Jina langu ni Cynthia Aluta from Vihiga sub county mwalimu wa chekechea na siku ya leo imekuwa siku ya furaha sana kwa walimu wa ICD tumetoka mbali we've been eagerly waiting for this day but now we are very very happy mheshimiwa governor alituahidi ya kwamba atatupatia barua na tumekuwa tukingoja sana but now siku imefika na ametimiza ahadi yake my name is Aramili Kaveza Madundu from Hamis sub county Vihiga County. First I may thank our governor for what he has done. Ametutoa mbali. The way we are looking like jinsi tunavyotembea, I think right now we are going to work. Tunaenda kufanya kazi kwa nguvu na nafikiria kwamba shule zetu zitakuwa on the top. Hatutakuwa vile tumekuanga hapo nyuma, sasa hii tutakuwa on the top and we shall work hard. Kwa hizi barua ambazo tumepewa may God bless our governor our directors our all leaders Mungu awabariki wa wametutenda kitendo ambacho Mungu atawatenda pia mema kufuatana familia zao na kila hali ambao wako ndani thank you hata hivyo idara ya elimu kaunti ya Viga imekarabati kandarasi za walimu wa chekechea kuambatana na sheria mpya ya kitengo cha tume ya mishara na marupurupu kote nchini Priska Minayo Vihiga wiki hii sasa masuala ya kilimo ambapo idara ya kilimo ya serikali ya kaunti ya Vihiga ipo na wakulima hapa kwa hapa manake inaboresha namna watakuwa napata wanapokea lishe ya kuapa ya kuipa mifugo yao hebu tupate taarifa hiyo kwa elimu ya ECD because hiyo ndio foundation bila hiyo hakuna chochote tafanyika hata watoto wakipata foundation mbaya kutoka kwa ECD baadaye hawatafaulu so as a government we are very much committed to see to it that the ECD education is given total wanawake na wakulima katika uzalishaji wa chakula cha wanyama cha kikaboni na alibainisha kuwa kuna mipango ya kuhakikisha mashine hii inanunuliwa katika kila kaunti ndogo kitu kimenifurahisha zaidi ni kukuja hapa 
Nimetembea vihiga hii yote. Lakini sijaingia mahali ambao nimeona ufugaji wa ngombe. Ni ya hali ya juu zaidi kuzinda pale popote nimeenda. Hata wakati nimetoka hapa na fikiria naingizwa kwa nyumba. Na kwa vile mahali vile natembea ni safi kabisa hata iko tiles. Na kumbe naenda kwa nyumba ya ngombe. Yaani ngombe inakaa vizuri huko nyuma. Imechungwa hata kusinda mtoto. So nasema group yetu ya vika demo mimi nampenda. You have made my day. You have made my day. Na kama ningekuwa na watu serious kama nyinyi, ah we would badilish this count. You are a serious group. This is the most serious group I've ever met since I became the county governor of this county. Na kama tuko na watu kwa county hii ambao wana practice ile kitu naitwa smart agriculture ni hapa. Hakuna mahali ngine unaweza kuonyesha watu smart agriculture ni ha? hapa. Yaani vile wanafanya ukulima na kujunga ngombe ni hali ya juu. Na mimi niko na furaha serikali yetu imemsaidia imempatia hii mashine ya kutengeneza chakula. Na nafikiri kwa vile mnatoka kwa kaunti yote mimi ningependa hii mashini tumununie kutoka every sub county. Kulingana na mratibu wa mradi huo Daktari Mary Mwema wakulima wanapokubali teknolojia ya TMR ili kuwalisha ngombe wao kutakuwa na ongezeko la uzalishaji wa maziwa kwa kiwango cha asilimia 30 hadi asilimia 40 na maziwa hayo yatasafirishwa kwa vyama vya ushirika kwa ajili ya kuuza na kuongeza thamani. You have given us a very good environment to work and that's why we are able to do to implement some of the project. Now, something which has not been said, uh, this feeding our animals with this block is going to increase milk production with up to 30 to 40%. That means we are going to in have increased production of milk, which is supposed to be delivered to our cooperative societies and enable them to grow. Kikundi hiki kinavuta wanachama wake kutoka kote katika kaunti hii na sasa wataweza kuzalisha chakula kamili chenye protini, nishati, madini, vitamini na virutubishi ambavyo ziada inaweza kuuzwa ili kupata faida. Sekta ya kilimo katika kaunti ya Vihiga inalenga kuzalisha na kutoa lishe bora na ya afya kwa mifugo kuongeza kiwango cha maziwa. Sharon Isiaho Vihiga wiki hii. Na basi mtazamaji ulimwengu na hata Kenya ikiwemo unapopambana na mabadiliko ya hali ya anga yani tabianchi vihiga tumepiga hatuli kwa kuhakikisha kwamba tunakabiliana na hali hii na katika sekta ya maji mheshimiwa gavana amehakikisha kwamba anatekeleza miradi mbalimbali ya maji ili kuwawezesha wana vihiga kutumia maji haya kunywa na kunyunyizia mimea yao hebu tupate taarifa kuhusu baadhi ya miradi ya maji ambayo inatekelezwa katika maboma mbalimbali kwa wakona viga Bana Yesu asifiwe Sasa siku ya leo nimekuja kuangalia miradi ya kaunti vile inaendelea si ndio nione tulitoa pesa watu wamepata maji si ndio sasa nilikuja kuangalia kazi ambayo mlinituma nifanye inafanyika vizu? vizuri si ndio sasa nimekuja nimepata mama kumba na kunywa maji lakini sio watu wote wamepata ma? maji na nataka nijaribu sana kwa sababu kwa sasa ni watu familia mia moja na si na sita zimepata. Lakini nataka kufikia mwaka ujao ni kweli nimefikisha hii kipchekweni 
Watu karibu elfu mbi? mbili. Si ndio? Nikiona mradi inaendelea vizuri sasa nikutafuta pesa nyingine na niweke kwa budget. Niambie governor na nyinyi mnajua governor rafiki yangu. Lami ndio hiyo muko nayo. Ta niliweka hapa hamisi. Hospitali nimeimprove. Hata sasa kwa sababu napenda nyinyi sana watu wa Kipchekweni. Nikanyang'anya watu huko ofisi nikaleta hapa. Si ndio? Sasa ofisi ya MCA muko nayo hapa. Sasa muitumie Mwitumie vizu? vizuri. Manake nyinyi ni watu yangu. Mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa mtu wa Kapsotik. Mimi nimehamia Kipchekwe. Eh, hey. jambo lingine mimi niko na furaha sana manake kwa kampeni yangu na ya Governor Tichilo. Tulisema hatutaki wa mama kwenda mto. Na sasa tunataka tujikaze. Ingawaje pesa ni kidogo kutoka kwa serikali kuu. Tutajikaza mpaka nione familia zote kufikia 2027 zimepata ma maji si ndio yes. sawa sawa mumezikia hiyo yes. pigie niko tichilo makofi pigia kolo makofi ile tu nataka kuhimiza hizi pipes mnaona vile ziko mama uzikae vizuri uzilinde vizuri watoto wasije akafungua na kata aone vile maji nalipuka Sawa sawa utunze vizuri. Na jambo lingine hii maji si ya bure. Unajua mtu atasema ai sasa maji kola alisema tukunywe tu. Ah ah. Iko kamita hapo, si ndio? Kwa sababu gani ni kama stima tu. Stima tunalipia. Eh, hey, unalipa ka token. Haka ni ka token tu. E, ni ka token so mtavumilia lakini hata si mingi. Utapata kwa mwezi umetumia labda shilingi miata ama miambi ene hiyo siku kama umekutana na bahati na kolo mbili utashindwa kulipa maji <laughs> eh hey, sawa sawa so ikikuja hivi unaangalia kamita ukikwambia ni moja sabini waambie leo niko na mia lipa msinifungie maji eh hey, ba uzeme tena baada wiki moja kuje hiyo 70 si ndio hey, unalipa tu pole 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 ili stima si ndio alafu maintenance hii pipes mpaka serikali ipate ka kitu si ndio na si serikali wanakula hiyo pesa ah, inarudi lipe stima ifanye na vitu zingine sawa 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 bandu banje muyanzu kundolo muyanzu kundolo kuma hulu mundolo kuma hulu bale kama bola yaka eh eh sawa sawa kwa majina naitwa Maslin Lidembu. Mimi nimefurahia maji wametuletea. Tulikuwa tunahangaika tunaenda mtoni, mtoni ni mbali. Saa zingine mvua inanyesha. Saa zingine kama kuna jua kali kwenda mara mingi ni shida ni mbali sana. Kwa hivyo natoa shukrani kwa MCA, natoa shukrani kwa governor kwa kutuletea maji. Sasa kabla maji ikuje tulikuwa na shida kwa sababu ukitaka kufua utaenda na mna gani mara saa zingine ukiwa na ngombe hizi ngombe zitakula na mna gani ukiwa na wafanyikazi haya ukipanda mboga kama jua imepita kunyunyuzia inakuwa ni shida e, lakini sasa kwa saa hii tunafurahia unaweza panda mboga hata kama kuna kiangazi na unatumikia maji unanyunyizia e. Si, tukiacha haya wa mtazamaji na tumai kwamba unatufuatilia katika mitandao yetu ya kijamii eh, County Government of Vihiga Wilba Hasilwa Otichilo hiyo ikiwa ni mitandao yetu ya Facebook kama ukipenda kitandazi na pia tuko mubashara live katika 105.0 idha yetu ya Vihiga FM kufikia hapo naomba basi niweze kupunga upepo kidogo tu tukipata tangazo ya la namna eh, Vihiga imeanza kulipa ushuru kwa kutumia mbinu ya kidijitali. Na kumekucha kulichele. We have started the automation of revenue collection in this county so that we can avoid unnecessary losses due to manual way of doing things. Ewe mfanyabiashara na mkazi wa kaunti ya Vihiga umerahisishiwa kulipa ushuru kwa serikali ya kaunti. Kuanzia sasa Hutahitajika kulipa ushuru kwa pesa taslimu yani cash money bali utatumia tunji ya nyepesi ya simu. Simu ndio mtindo wa kisasa hata kwa hivi sasa mtu asipokuwa na simu ni kama najisikia ni mgonjwa. Tunataka tutumie hii simu kwa sababu kama tumepewa simu kila mtu ana simu anajua namna ya kupiga simu, kupokea simu. Tutatumia simu 
vile na tunavyotumia kama tumetumia hela za Mpesa unaenda unapokea ama unaenda kutumia mtu wako Ukitaka kulipa ushuru bonyeza star 604 hash au pia unaweza kutumia Mpesa Paybill number ikiwa 003838 na account number ikiwa nambari ya invoice uliopewa Kama ni kulipa kwa benki tumia benki ya KCB kwa account number 11 4074 Tukiweka hii mikakati vizuri ipasavyo tuko na uwezo kama kaunti kukusanya milioni 500. Nataka kuahimiza wananchi wa Vihiga kwamba njia ambayo unaweza kuwa na uhakika kwamba ile pesa ambayo umelipa kama ushuru inafikia kaunti ni mfumo ya kidijitali. Uh, mafisa wote wa kukusanya ushuru kutoka kwa sub counties wameenda through all the trainings required. Hapa awali ilikuwa labda lazima tufanye kazi ya mbio ya, ya watchman pia ya kutaimiana na client hajalipa amegeza gari wakati unafuatana na huyu akienda kufunga mlango mwingine ndio yule anatoroka. So imekuwa changamoto kidogo lakini kwa size naona itakuwa rahisi. Mfumo umekuja ni mzuri sana kwa wafanyabiashara wengi wao wameikubali wachache ni wale ambao tunajaribu kuwaelimiza uone umuhimu wao naambia governor asante sana kwa kuleta mbinu mpya ya ushuru kuhusu malipo ya simu at least tutakuwa vizuri nimeona hiyo system ni mzuri kwa sababu message ina inakuwa generated upande wake na inakuja kwako kazi yako tu ni kuweka ndani pin number na inakuwa ni rahisi uwezi ukakonfuse hapo tu mali pengine Lipa ushuru jenga vihiga. Lipa ushuru jenga vihiga. Lipa ushuru jenga vihiga. Lipa ushuru jenga vihiga. Cashless ndio form. Lipa ushuru jenga vihiga. Na mtazamaji na msikilizaji wetu basi leo ni tangazo la namna serikali ya kaunti ya Vihiga inasihi wana Vihiga kulipa ushuru kwa kutumia mbinu ya kidijitali ama leo hii tutakuwa na geni wetu ambaye ni waziri wa masuala ya viwanda na e, biashara katika serikali ya kaunti ya Vihiga naona ameshafika katika studio zetu hapa e, mheshimiwa Grace Kadenge ambaye tulikuwa tunasema naye kuhusiana na hafla ya siku ya leo pale ambapo waziri Moses Kuria ambaye amehamishiwa katika wizara ya utumishi kwa umma wa wafanyakazi e, amekutembelea Vihiga na kuzindua ile bustani ama kile eneo ambapo kutakuwa na viwanda na eneo pia ambapo ambapo kutakuwa na E, nafasi ya kuwezesha wakulima wafanya biashara kuja na bidhaa zao za kilimo ili kuhakikisha kwamba zina boresho kwa hivyo usiende mbali tutakuwa tunapata mahojiano yake e, muda si mrefu lakini sasa hivi hebu tupate tu e, wana huduma wamesema kwamba juma hili maadamu lilikuwa juma la huduma kwa e, wateja wao wamekaribisha wana vihiga katika kituo cha huduma hapa vihiga ili kupokea huduma mbalimbali hebu tusikie kauli zao Merelekwa the deputy center manager vika huduma customer service week is a global theme for all Kenyans we are doing it the whole world is doing it so we normally do it in the first week of October every year vika huduma is now six years after birth for this year the theme is teamwork ya kari ya utimu wa kaza, family ufuvika uduma. Now, the services we offer here, number one, we start with DCI. That's good conduct services, where people apply online. Number two is police abstract. We are only doing for lost IDs. So, uduma is a one-stop shop whereby when a client comes, he has lost an ID, let him get the police abstract from there, then let him pay, and then let them take the service. So from there we move to birth and death service. It's a desk where we have birth processed here and death also processed here. We process and issue the certificates on instant services. Then we come to adult education. It's next to birth and death because people normally fill forms. So we felt he must sit next to the birth and death desk so that he can assist, assist them 
and also get members to go to class for adult education. Next is health services. Health services we have BMI, we test sugar, pressure, and first aid. Then we have single permit issuance that's online, whereby they pay through till number and then they are given the license. I've been posted here by ESCC to for their office here at Uma Center to address matters of ethical breaches and accept reports on corruption. So I also do work to deal with rec receiving of self-declaration forms for vetting purposes. So this is a, a customer service week. Bring those reports on ethical breaches, maladministration, uh, matters of uh, injustices, probably land. When I talk about that, I know there are so many here in Viga. Bring those reports. We, uh, we, we direct people because we also work with other offices like the Commission for Administrative Justice. Then we have affordable housing services whereby public come to, they will come in just for inquiries. Then they are shown the way how to apply online. Then next is NHIF services. People just come and apply for the number. Nowadays we don't issue cards. You come and apply, we are given the number. Now we come to KRA services, UNI for the digital services. Then next we have ACBO services, where youth, women come and apply for the certificates. Then we have pension services. People just come and check their records, their status, where the file has reached, they are informed from here. Our next is NCA, they are just doing registration for the builders. Then we have NRB services. NRB services, this is where they will come and replace their IDs. If it's lost or you are changing from the old generation to the new generation, we do it from Uduma. I came on Monday after a week, I came to message come to collect my ID. I came to collect Leo and uh, something good about it, I've taken less than two minutes. I've taken my ID, so I'm good to go. I came to the Uduma Center here at Uduma Center. Kutafuta have Uduma as a Kusaidiwa. I have a register biashara. Uh, kwa hivyo nimekuja hapa nifanya registration na ndio sababu nimekuja hapa. Um, nimekuwa served vizuri sana na watu wa hapa na customer service yao iko sawa kabisa na nashukuru sana uh, Huduma Center hii ya Mbale kwa kazi nzuri wanafanya. Nilikuwa nakuja ku consult mambo na adult education about uh, late registration of KCP and KCSE. KCP how fine tena but KCC oh, but paka next year yeah so the services kwa smart mechukua muda kidogo around 30 minutes na the services ziko sawa ta nilikuwa nimekuja kutembelea DCI department ambapo nilikuwa nimekuja kushughulikia good conduct so nimesaidika nimepata the process was good. Ah ningependa kusema kwamba wakazi au wenyeji wa Viga County ah ni vyema kwamba tuweze kutembelea Huduma Center ili tuweze kupata services zenye tunahitaji. Maana ukitembelea mahali hapa unashughulikiwa jinsi pasavyo haraka. Ah mimi mwenyewe nimetembelea hapa nimechukua less than 5 minutes already nishashughulikiwa ninaondoka. So what I'd like to say about this Huduma Center in Vihiga County, it's enough, our work to be so much easier. So I'm glad this week in the customer care service, the service is better. I'll say it's more than perfect. That's all I can say. I want to wish the people of Vihiga happy customer service week. Happy customer service week. Nataka kuwish all the customers wa Huduma Center hii na the rest of the customers uh, upper Vihiga County a happy customer service week. Happy customer service week. Happy customer service week.
I'm Mary Lekwa, the Deputy Center Manager, Vika Huduma. Customer Service Week is a global. Mtazamaji wetu, shukran. Kwa kweza kwa nasi, tumifika katika ile sehemu ya natumia kamera gari ya mani. Kutusa. Naam, shukran. Tumifika kile kitengo cha mahodiano. Na leo hii tunaye waziri wetu wa viwanda na biashara mheshimiwa Grace Kadenge atole zetu shughuli za leo zimekuwa vipi pale ambapo kiwanda cha kuweza kuwafaa wakulima wetu wafanya biashara wetu na unaviiga kwa jumla ujenzi wake umezinuliwa kule Luanda karibu sana mheshimiwa Grace katika mojano haya na labda tukwa manufaa ya mtazamaji wetu umekaa katika wizara kwa muda gani kwa majina naitwa Chris Kadenge nikiwa waziri wa biashara utalii na vyama vya ushirika katika kaunti za government ya Vihiga. nilijiunga uh, na kaunti government ya Vihiga kama CCM Commerce Tourism and Cooperative mwezi wa Disemba na tarehe kumi mwezi wa Disemba mwaka uliopita. Na labda tuelezee tu leo hii kumekuwa na shughuli gani? pale Rwanda mengi tu kuhusiana na uzinduzi wa kiwanda hiki ambacho kitawafaona. Uh, leo hii tumekuwa na uzinduzi wa viwanda katika county government ya Vihiga na uzinduzi huu umefanywa na outgoing CS for Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry uh, CS uh, Moses Kiare Kuria na siku hii imekuwa siku ya muhimu sana katika county government yetu ya Vihiga. Uh, Vihiga ikiwa ni kaunti ya kumi na saba kufanya uzinduzi huu wa viwanda. Uh, sana kwa sababu uh, mradi huu ni mradi mkubwa sana kwa county government yetu. Ni mradi ambao utagaramia shilingi milioni tano na mimradi ambao unafanya uh, kwa collaboration kati ya national government na county government ya Vihiga. Uh, ni mradi ambao utachukua ujenzi wa viwanda hivi utachukua kadri ya miezi tisa na uh, katika county government ya Vihiga tunataka kuimarisha our value chain na tutaweza kutia uh, kutia priority kwa value chains ambazo tuko nazo hapa katika county government ya Vihiga tuko na value chain yetu ya kwanza ni banana banana value chain na tuko na value addition kwenye ndizi na already tuko na aggregation ya bananas katika county government ya Vihiga. Uh, tuko na aggregation center katika county ya aggregation na maanisha nini wazi kwa manufaa ya mtazamaji wetu na mtazamaji wetu. Uh, aggregation inamaanisha kiwanda kidogo ambacho mkishatoa mkisha bidhaa au uh, mazao katika shamba mnakusanyisha ndipo sasa muweze kufanya processing. So katika county government yetu ya Vihiga already tuko na banana aggregation center katika sub county ya Hamisi ambayo inaitwa Hamisi Banana Aggregation Center. Na tena tuko na kiwanda cha ndizi katika Sabata sub county that is Sabata banana processing. Uh, plant katika sub county ya Sabata. So value chain yetu ya kwanza ambayo ni ndizi ni value chain ambayo tumeshaanza katika county government ya Vihiga. Sasa kiwanda hiki kitakapofunguliwa already tutakuwa tuko na aggregation centers za ndizi ambazo sasa tutaleta kwa kiwanda for processing. Na already katika kiwango kidogo tunafanya value addition ya ndizi na tuko na banana wine tunatengeneza banana crisps tunatengeneza soda soda ash kutoka kwenye ndizi na pia tunatengeneza banana flour uh, value chain yetu ya pili ni dairy 
Uh, unaweza fahamu kwamba katika county government ya Vihiga hakuna boma ambalo halina Sasa dairy imekuwa ni value chain yetu ya pili na tunafikiri tutakapofungua kiwanda hiki tutaweza kusaidia wafanyakazi wa ukulima wetu katika county government ya Vihiga ili kuweza kufanya aggregation ya maziwa na kuweza kuendeleza value chain ambapo tuna tazamia kupata hata export kuweza kuwa tunaweza ku export our daily products katika county government zingine au hata nje katika nchi za mbali uh, value chain yetu ya, ta, ya tatu ni african leafy vegetables uh, tuko katika county government ya Vihiga tunaimarisha sana upandaji wa mboga za kienyeji na hiyo pia ni value chain na tunatazamia kwamba tutakuwa na um, mboga ya kienyeji ambayo tutaweza kufanya processing katika kiwanda hiki na tuweze hata ku export katika nchi za ngambo value chain ingine ambayo tuko nayo katika county government ya Vihiga ni avocado value chain. katika county government ya Vihiga tumeimarisha sana upandaji wa avocado na kwa haswa uh, haswa avocado na tunatarajia kwamba kiwanda hiki kitakapofunguliwa tutaweza kuwa na processing na tupate kidogo kwa kile kama ni sharubati ama juice ya avocado ama baratichi anakunywa anatengeneza ndio wakati sasa kiwanda kitakachokuwa kitakapofunguliwa tutaweza kuwa na processing ya value addition kwa avocado ndio umesema kama juice ya avocado tunaweza pia tunaweza kuwa tuka process mafuta ya avocado oil na bidhaa zingine ambazo tunaweza toa kwa hivyo mchango <coughs> mchango wa serikali kuu ni ule ujenzi ah uh, uh, collaboration hii imekuwa 50-50 national government wameweka milioni 250 county government inaweka milioni 250 shukran kwa hilo waziri na tunapomalizia upande wa ajira je vijana nauliza kama labda mimi si mkulima si jiusijihusishi na value chain yoyote je watapata ajira ah uh, hilo ni swali la, uh, la maana sana kwa sababu uh, kuanzia hata sasa wakati tumezindua mradi huu kutakuwa na ujenzi na watu ambao watakuwa wanafanya ujenzi wa viwanda hivi watakuwa watu wa Vihiga County sasa ajira itakuwa imepatikana kwa vijana wetu ndio watapata kazi ya kufanya itawasaidia kujihusi kukoma kujihusisha na labda uh, madawa ya kulevya watakuwa na kazi ya kufanya na uh, wakati hata viwanda vitakuwa vimekamilika kutakuwa na ajira pia kwa vijana uh, unapoangalia kama county government ya Nairobi uh, kila siku asubuhi na jioni ukitia manani kuangalia watu ambao wanatoka viwandani industrial area unapata kuwa kuna vijana wengi wanapata ajira huko so tunatarajia kwamba viwanda hivi vitakavyofunguliwa hata katika kaunti zetu haswa kaunti ya Bidiga vijana wetu watakuwa na fursa ya kupata ajira katika viwanda hivi shukran waziri na tunapomalizia kwa mfano ya niatu nzuri ya idara yako Natoka malizia unaweza kusema kwamba kwa muda wa mwaka mmoja uliopita hivi baada ya uchaguzi uliopita idara yako inaweza ikajivunia nini bali na kuzunguza ujenzi wa bustani hii ya na kiwanda hiki uh, katika idara yetu tumekuwa na miradi mingi ambayo his excellency uh, the governor dr utichilo amezindua uh, mmeona kwamba tumeweza kuzindua uh, mata taa za milongoti katika soko zetu tumezindua taa katika soko la Banja Market Tuka, uh, His Excellency akazindua taa katika soko la Wemilabi uh, tumezindua taa katika soko la Banja Pilo kwa soko la Bunyore ama Misi ama sabatia. Ni sawa, ninachojua ni kwamba idara yake imefungua miradi ya mtaa nyingi sana katika kaunti ya Vihiga na hongera kwa idara yake. 
na uh, pia tumekuwa na miradi ya vyo ambapo His Excellency uh, the Governor ameweza kuanzisha miradi za vyo uh, tumekuwa na vyo katika soko tumekuwa na cho cha kwanza ambacho already His Excellency Dr. Utichilo amezindua ni cho cha uh, SBUE stock market na tuko na vyo uh, vinne ambavyo vimeanzwa kujengwa uh, na uh, viko katika ukamilishaji tuko na cho katika soko la chavakali uh, katika soko la cheptul uh, katika soko la mibona na katika pia tunatarajia kwanza cho kingine katika soko la majini ndio na katika hayo masoko manake pia idara yako inahusika sana na kuhakikisha kwamba uchaguzi wa viongozi katika hayo masoko uko sawa kabisa na ni wawazi. Hivi niulize uhusiano wa idara na wafanyabiashara katika kaunti ya Vihiga uko vipi? Uh, tumeimarisha uhusiano katika soko zetu hizi kwa kufanya uchaguzi wa market leaders. Na tumeweza kufanya uchaguzi katika soko la Luanda tumefanya uchaguzi katika soko la mbali tumefanya uchaguzi katika soko la mahanga uh, tumefanya uchaguzi pia katika soko la cheptul market na tumeweza kuwa tunafanya kazi tumeanza kufanya kazi na idara ya finance uh, under revenue collection na tunafanya kazi pamoja tuna collaborate nao ili kuweza kusaidia county government yetu kuimarisha revenue on source revenue kutoka katika soko zetu hizi. Na wafanyabiashara wamepokea vipi huo mtindo mpya wa kukusanya ushuru kutumia simu wamepokea vipi? Ah uh, umeraisisha, umeraisisha kazi zao kabisa. Mfanyakazi hafai kutoka katika uh, biashara yake ili aende kupanga ndolongo wa kulipa revenue. Anaendelea na kazi yake katika biashara yake na akiwa na simu tu anaweza kulipa ushuru. Sasa imewasaidia sana na hata tumeona imeanza imeongeza revenue collection manake uh, wafanyabiashara wanaendelea na kazi zao wakiendelea na kulipa ushuru. Mwisho ni eh, ujumbe wako wa mwisho kwa wanavihiga. Uh, ujumbe wangu wa mwisho kwa wanavihiga ni kwamba leo imekuwa siku ya maana sana. Vihiga imekuwa kaunti ya saba kuzindua uh, viwanda na tunatumai ya viwanda hivi vitatusaidia kwa kupata ajra kwa vijana wetu na pia viwanda hivi vitatusaidia kutafuta export markets kwa bidhaa zetu na unaweza elewa kwamba uh, tumebadilika kutoka kwa agriculture yani culture mazoea agriculture imebadilika sasa imekuwa agri business sasa uh, ile ile uh, ukulima watu walikuwa wanafanya kitambo ya kupanda tu uh, kwa ajili ya kupanda haipo tena na ukulima sasa imekuwa biashara ndipo sasa tunaongea kuhusu agri business na viwanda hivi vitatusaidia sana kufungua masoko kwa ukul, kwa wakul, wakulima wa huku na bidhaa ambazo tunatoa kwa shamba zetu na tutaweza kuimarika na kuimarisha uchumi wa Uganda Asante sana waziri kwa wakati wako na natumai kwamba wakati mwingine tukikualika pia utakuja. Asante. Huyo amekuwa waziri wetu wa biashara e, na uchumi B Grace Kadenge. Kumbuka pia masuala ya utalii yako chini ya idara yake na kufikia hapo basi mtazamaji tumefika tamati ya matangazo yetu ama habari zetu za vihiga wiki hii leo hii. Sijui ni kushukuru vipi manake kama si wewe hatuwezi kwa hapa tukikuletea eliojiri tangia Jumatatu hadi Ijumaa ama tumetangia Jumamosi hadi Ijumaa ya kila Juma. Nasema shukran jazila kwa niaba pia ya wote waliofanikisha habari hizi wakiongozwa na mkurugenzi wa mawasiliano bwana Francis Matika. Na kutokia Ijumaa njema na pamoja na hamsini zako mimi naitwa Victor Wetende na kuaga msemo mwenye chungu mekoni hachi kuriaria. Kweli. Eh,